Right, let's jump into the showdown battle. So, I lead off with Rotom Watch in this one, and uh, he leads off with his Bastiodon. I don't know why he has Bastiodon in OU, but um, obviously try and do some weird stuff or something like that. Who really can tell? But I am going to go for the Volt Switch and then go into um, Escadrill, because I don't think he can do too much. I don't think he has Hidden Power Fire. He could, because some Mega Venusaurs carry that, but, you know, it's highly unlikely. And it doesn't appear he does. He just has Leech Seed, Giga Drain, so he's probably like the full sustain Mega Venusaur set with Synthesis as well. And uh, probably Sludge Bomb for the other stab, but yeah. So, for some reason, I thought I clicked on the Mega Evolution button to start off with, and that, if I had, probably Mega Venusaur would have been dead. Um, but somehow I didn't, and then we ran in Sex God Magoo, who happens to be the move set that is going to go up this week. Um, so you all just have to wait till then to find out the exact EVs and everything that works out. But uh, this is actually a set that Kuro gave me. Unfortunately, uh, because of this this Gudra being a hydration Gudra, it can't live to its full potential, and uh, because it's bulky. Really, this is kind of pointless. I just wanted to sacrifice myself so I could at least buy out the turn. Now I'm going to bring in Conkeldur, who is two fisting, and I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. He just goes ahead and goes directly into Duke of Old, and I guess because of the Choice Scarf, he outspeeds me, which is interesting. Uh, so I go for the Drain Punch and get all my health back, and he has a Skarmory that has Sky Attack with no power. Not really understanding that one. I didn't even see what item I knocked off so if you saw the item let me know in the comments but I didn't actually see uh, but he this guy attack does get a crit on my Rotom wash it's okay I live so I go for the volt switch and now he is going to bring in superior who takes a lot of damage from that ice punch and because I'm an assault vest conkolder I just may well take that hit pretty nicely um, you know it was a crit and all but still I take it fairly nicely go for the ice punch obviously I'm Probably not gonna want to ice punch this Mega Venusaur because of thick fat shenanigans. So I figured just bringing in Ferrothorn to force him to switch out was a better option. Because he shouldn't have anything touch my Ferrothorn if he doesn't have Hidden Power Fire. And uh, I'm guessing he didn't, so it's all good. And now I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed on the Waylord. I think I went for Stealth Rock on the uh, Switch, I'm pretty sure. And well, yeah, obviously Gudra is gonna take some damage. And also, I found out that Infestation is apparently a contact move, which is kind of cool to find out. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, the Infestation actually does more damage than I recover from Leaf Seed, I think. Which is disappointing, and because he's a Hydration Gudra, it's just not fun. But I am going to go for the Power Whip, because it's too, it does a little bit more damage than Gyro Ball. Um, so yeah, he is going to switch here. Going to Mega Venusaur, I guess wanting to tank the Power Whip. Not really sure why. Not really sure why he actually brought in Mega Venusaur. Um, so I do bring in Mega Char or I do bring in Charizard, and this time I definitely do hit the Mega Evolution button. I don't know why it didn't go off the last time I did, but obviously that's gonna be one battle because he knows he can't take down Mega Charizard Y. So next battle, very next battle with Sex God Magoo. Actually, uh, I go for the Volt Switch and switch in Sex God Magoo. Wouldn't you know? And he goes in and switches out because guess what? People fear the Sex God Magoo. He's scary. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him laugh at your futile attempts to kill him. So I do get the Iron Ball onto Togekiss, then get a Telekinesis so I can hit the Inferno and inflict status and get some extra damage off, which I thought would help to KO the Togekiss, but apparently Togekiss is just really bulky, which kind of sucks. So, because I thought that Ice Punch would honestly KO. Apparently it doesn't. It's okay. I guess it's okay. I'm a little disappointed it doesn't. KO, but it's okay. And I also found out that Drain Kiss, which actually makes a lot more sense in Infestation, but Drain Kiss is a contact move as well, so Sylveon just took all that damage. Heatran comes in, obviously a big threat for Ferrothorn, so we're gonna get out of there. We're gonna bring in the Dirty Boy. He's gonna clean up, okay? He's gonna do a little washy-washy, and uh, actually, I did do a Volt Switch here, actually, because I did predict him switching in. I predicted him switching into something like Suicune to resist the Hydro Pump or something, so I did go for the switch. Go for the Drain Punch, and Sylveon comes in, I go for the knockoff for... I don't really know why, actually, why I went for the knockoff. I guess because I thought maybe he was going to bring in something that could just have something knocked off. Uh, but then I do bring in Ferrothorn, he KOs himself, and then he proceeds to forfeit, which is... Yeah. Forfeiters. 
they exist on showdown. So first turn, I miss the Hydro Pump as he switches into Salamence. Possibly only matters if he's like Focus Sash. Uh, which I find out later he's not. Um, and apparently, the cool thing to do with dragons nowadays, because fairy, fairy typing isn't a thing. I know I have no fairy types, but the cool thing to do is just go for Outrage, like, right when you can, because that's a good idea. And so I go for the Leaf Seed. He is confused, so he doesn't exactly want to stay in, which is nice. Because he probably is winning Fire Blast. He brings in Heatran. I get off Stealth Rocks, which is going to hinder down his Dragonite, his Salamence, and his Thunderous. So it's nice that I managed to get those up. And speaking of Thunderous, in th comes Thunderous. I didn't exactly take the Flamethrower as much as well as I thought I would, which is disappointing. But I guess I'm not a bulky Rotom, so it's kind of okay. And uh, here we go again. Sexy God Magoo. Doing a little trick shenanigans, and uh, yeah, we're having some fun. I obviously could have gotten off Telekinesis, but I was going to die, so I figured might as well risk the Inferno. I unfortunately don't hit and get the burn damage, but oh well. I don't care. And I also... Well, for some reason, I was under the assumption that Iron Ball just negated flying typing. It's not its not exactly like Roost, it just lets flying types get hit by ground moves, but apparently the super effectiveness doesn't apply for some reason. Not sure why. Probably is the same mechanics as in the actual Wi-Fi game itself. Uh, so, you know, we learned a lot of things this episode, right? Right? We learned that obviously I need to battle more uh, because, yeah, I don't know stuff, which is sad. Uh, so I bring in Conkolder as kind of death fodder after bringing in Charizard. Why? Because I have nothing to touch Heatran. I could go for Air Slash, but that's not going to really do that much damage. Solar Beam obviously does nothing, and obviously going for a Fire Blast would be an idiotic. Fortunately, I run a Jolly Excadrill! The only reason to run a Jolly Excadrill is to outspeed Heatrans. It ended up working because he's not Choice Scarf, so that's good. He's Leftovers Heatran for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but... Yeah, he brings in the Scizor, I bring in Ferrothorn, and a whole lot of damage gets put on the Scizor just from Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet, which allows me to bring in bring in Rotom Volt Switch and KO that, which is nice. Now he's going to bring in his Salamance, who is going to die to an Air Slash slower for some reason. Um, maybe a Speed Tie, because I think they have the same speed anyway. He goes for a Thunder on Gengar. Um, that may have mattered that he missed, because I probably would have died, and Dragonite would be an issue. And fortunately, I get the flinch on there, slash. But really, Thunder on Gengar when Charizard wise a thing. Not really sure on that part. But finally, we get to the last match with Sex God Magoo! So I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump. And Volcarona with Focus Sash is apparently a thing. Don't ask me why it's a thing. I guess it's an anti-lead to Rotom or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Apparently that's a thing. I take a lot of damage from that Giga Drain, he recovers a lot, he switches into Blastoise, and I switch into Ferrothorn. He, he, I'm pretty sure he has Horse Spear, so I don't know why he didn't go for it right away. Um, because he could have killed me right there, I'm pretty sure. And he didn't, and that's probably going to play a huge part later. Uh, so, and by later I actually mean, like, right now. By the fact that I could get off that all that Gyro Ball damage. And, uh, I knew Fire Punch was a thing, but I didn't really need Ferrothorn this time. The only game that I didn't really need for Preserve Ferrothorn. So Sexagon Magoo dies, but guess what? He's being a sex god. He still brings all his mighty power and burns the Tyranitar. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's nice. Sex God Magoo still does work even when he dies. So yay for Sex God Magoo. Hashtag Sex God Magoo, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Anyway, back into the battle. So I tank a Psychic thanks to Assault Vest, um, but because I'm just HP and attack, I really don't take it that well. But I do take it, so that's the important thing. Go for the knockoff, get the Choice Scarf off of the Gardevoir, which matters in this scenario because that means you can just Earthquake and KO the Gardevoir. Now he brings in Blastoise, probably going for like Water Pulse or something. Um, he actually goes for Horse Spear, not sure why. Water Pulse would probably have done the same damage. Maybe a little bit less, I don't know, but it does get boosted by Mega Blastoise's ability. And then bring in Charizard Y, who's been a big player in all these battles, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, Garchomp is faster than Charizard Y, which kind of sucks, so I'm going to have to be forced to sacrifice. And right here, I bring in Rotom Wash, and he switches out. I don't know why. Could have probably gone for the Volt Switch, could have killed the Volker on it. But since he did switch out, it provides me a winning opportunity, so I do switch into Charizard Y, so Charizard Y can die so the sun disappears and dirty boy is going to clean up a little bit 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed Sex God Magoo. You will see the Moose of the Week video on Wednesday when he shall be showcased. I will pull clips from this and go ahead and, I don't know, put them in slow motion, maybe, put them in epic music, maybe, something like that. I will do the showcase for that. And uh, on Wednesday, I'll challenge you guys to try and do the showcase as well. But hey, I made the team. Colonel suggested I make the team and do it myself, so I did it. And... Um, he didn't help me with the team, by the way, other than Sex God Magoo, so, yeah. I'm feeling pretty proud that I, even after not battling much, I still can semi-put together a decent team on Showdown. I don't know. But, uh, Sex God Magoo was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely something unique and different, which is good, because I enjoy doing that. And, uh, yeah, pretty much all. Hope you guys enjoy, and on Wednesday, you will see the Sex God Magoo moveset come out, so we'll see you guys then.